Uh, uh, Dylan, I'm scared. Don't worry, Will. Follow me. Fire's getting out of control. We still got two people inside. Oh, my baby boy, please get him out of there. There's too much fire. I don't think we're going to make it out of here. No, I'm your big brother. You listen to me and follow me. Come on. Uh, uh, look, we made it. Will. Oh, honey, are you okay? Oh, I was really scared. Quick, let's get away from this house. Oh, my gosh, Will. What happened? Yeah, don't worry, Mom. I'm fine, too. <laughs> yeah, I know you're fine, Dylan. I can see that. Oh, Will, I was so worried. I love you so much. Why don't you love me? What? You don't love me at all, Mom, do you? Dylan, that is not true. Stop it. Mom, my ankle hurts. What? Your ankle hurts? Oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. You need to call an ambulance right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right away. What? Excuse me, doctor. Hello? Uh, yeah, what seems to be the problem? My son, Will, here has a sprained ankle. If it's a sprained ankle, your son's probably gonna be fine. There's nothing I can do for a sprain. Hey, guys! <coughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time breathing! <coughs> what happened? What is going on here? Oh, that's just my son, but look, my sons were just in a fire. Your boys were in a fire? That cough seems pretty serious. We need to get him help quickly. What about Will? All right, fine. Look, we'll check both these boys out. Let's go, come on! Well, I hope you're satisfied with yourself, Dylan. Satisfied with myself? What? Your brother had a sprained ankle and you took all the attention away from him. Like you always do. You could care less that I almost had smoke inhalation. I could have gotten seriously sick or worse. All you were worried about is Will. You are so selfish. You never think of anybody else but yourself, don't you? What? I went in that fire to save Will. And there you go, making it all about yourself again. You want me to call you a hero? Fine, Dylan. You're the hero. Mom, just leave, okay? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with your attitude. Thank you for taking us shopping, Mom. Oh, of course, honey. Well, since all of our clothes and things burned in the fire, we're going to have to get new stuff. Here, here's $40 a piece. I think that should be enough. What? No, Mom, I need more than this. You know what? You're right. Here. Here's $100 for you, Will. Am I getting any more, too? Um, no. That's all the money that I have. Yeah, and I'm not sharing either, so don't ask. Thanks again, Mom. Oh, I'm going to GameStop. We're supposed to buy clothes, not video games. Ugh. Mom, this isn't fair. <sighs> What's not fair? It's obvious you love Will more than me. What? That's not true at all. So what? I gave him an extra $100. Big deal. He was the one that was caught in the fire. You're just completely spoiling him. No, I'm not. Look, you're his older brother. You should look out for him more. Look out for him more? You do enough of that for him. Who's going to look out for me? Oh my gosh, Dylan, you are being so dramatic. Why don't you just go and get some new clothes, okay? Well, what am I supposed to buy with $40? I don't know, Dylan. Why don't you go figure it out? You can't keep playing favorites like this, Mom. It's not fair. I don't know what you're talking about, Dylan. I don't play favorites with my sons. I love you both equally. Yeah, well, you have a funny way of showing it. Thanks for letting me hang out here, Steve. You're a really good friend. What? No, it's no sweat, Dylan. You're my best friend. You can stay here as long as you want until your mom finds a new place. Well, luckily, she just got a new house, apparently. But I'll keep that offer in mind in case I need to run away or something. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Your family ain't that bad. Yeah, they may not seem bad. But just try living with them. I gotta go. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it. No problem, Dylan. See you around. I can't believe you're making me wait for a whole minute. I told you I was going to arrive at 6.30. Yeah, and it's 6.31. I just had to get my stuff. We need to get into the new house. Uh, fine, whatever. Well, this is it. Oh, Mom, this is awesome. I want this room. I call it. Hey, wait a second. Is there another room? Only looks like there's two bedrooms in this house. Yes, this one's Will's, and I need the other one, obviously. Where am I going to stay? Oh, we have that comfy new couch. You can sleep on that. What? Mom, I'm not sleeping on the couch. I was doing that in the hotel room. Well, I bet if you asked Will, maybe he will share the room with you. Well, I don't want to share. I want my own room. Oh, honey, fine. You don't have to share unless you want to. Dylan can deal with the couch. No, this isn't fair. I want my own wow, room. Wow, look who's being spoiled now. Now, Will has... Honey, what do you think? Maybe we should get you a new king-size bed. Ugh, unbelievable. Well, at least we're closer to the school now. It's a nice, easy walk back home. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, man, I slept so good last night. I actually really like our new house. I'm glad to know you love the new house, and you got a great night's sleep, where I got a horrible night's sleep, Will. 
That couch was not as comfortable as mom made it out to be. Oh, you're just being a crybaby. I am not being a crybaby. You try sleeping on the couch. Ew, no, sleeping on the couch? Why would I do that? You don't even see what's going on, do you? You are so spoiled. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not spoiled. Mom just sees the good in me. You're just jealous that no one loves you. No one loves me? That's not true. I can't wait to take everything from you, Dylan. We're brothers, Will. We're supposed to take care of each other and look out for each other. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. Mom says so. You're just a pathetic loser. You call me that one more what? time. Pathetic loser. Oh, that's it. Uh, get away from get me. Get over here, Will. No. Ah! Mom. Mom. What is going on, Will? Is everything okay? Dylan's gone crazy. He's trying to attack Dylan, me. Dylan, what has gotten into I'm you? I'm sick of Will and his attitude. Seems as though you're the one with the attitude. No, trust me, I'm not. You know, he didn't even thank me for saving him I from the fire. I didn't ask you to come in there and save me. See how spoiled he's acting? Will is not acting spoiled. You don't see it because, because you don't love me. Oh my gosh, this again? You only love Will, Mom. It's pretty clear. You always take his side with everything. Will just needs a little more attention. Because he's a big baby and he always will be. <laughs> That is it. You are grounded, young man. And I'm turning off the internet on all of your devices. You do not talk to your brother that what way. What are you going to do, Mom? Send me to my room? You're going to go sit in the living room, and that's final. Ugh, whatever. Hey, Dylan, I'm happy you could sneak out and meet me here. I haven't seen you in like a week since you've been grounded. Yeah, I know, dude. And it's the worst. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to enjoy my night with my friend and hang out. And I know just what we're going to do next. Let's go to the arcade. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. You know, I'm probably going to beat you in every game, though. Oh, I'm not going to let that happen again. Trust me, I've been training. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've been training? Doesn't look like it. Oh, you're just too good. Yeah, man, thanks for suggesting this. This means a lot. You really helped me calm down, you know? Hey, no problem. You need to relax. What's the problem? Hey, you. Officer, is everything okay? Get on the ground right now. Wait, what? What did I do? Do as I all say. Right, all right, all right. What is happening? All right, kid. Here you go. <sighs> Great. Well, about time you're home. Mom, I can't believe you did that. You got me arrested for sneaking out of the house? Yeah, that's what you get. It's not a criminal offense, Mom. You could have just called me or texted me. Do you have any idea what was going on here? Poor Will had nobody to hang out no with. No one to hang out with? How is this still about Will? What are you talking about? I snuck out to clear my mind and hang out with my friend. And you are making this about Will? Don't you see what you're doing, Mom? Why are you treating me like this? Look, I'm doing the best I can, Dylan. What more do you want from me? I don't know. A mom that loves me? <sighs> oh my goodness. That is so rude. I am your mother. What makes you feel that you can talk to me this way? Because it feels as though you literally don't care how I feel. My life completely changed once Will was born. Everything was about him. It's like you completely forgot about me. Look, Will just needs more stuff and attention and that that's just it. You know what? Fine. He can have it all because I'm done with this. I'm gonna go stay with Steve. You can't do that. You're grounded. It doesn't matter anymore, Mom. It's obvious you don't want me a part of this family, so I won't be. Dylan, wait. Stop. Come on, dude, we're gonna be late. All right, I got all my stuff, let's go. Living with you has been the best. Of course, man, it's been great. I love going to school with you every morning. And you know I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I know, I appreciate Dylan, it. There you are, finally. Mom, what do you want? Have you seen your brother anywhere? Have you heard from him? No, I haven't seen or talked to him in weeks. Oh, this isn't good, this isn't good. We were on a hike and Will just ran off. Will ran off? No one's been able to find him. And I'm starting to get really worried. I don't know where he could be. Oh no, Will, what have you gotten into this time? Gotta find him. Steve, we've gotta do something. Yeah, I can help me and my dad go hiking all the time. I got some gear back in my garage. All right, let's grab that and head off to the trail. If Will is out in those woods, I don't know how long he can last. Yeah, I don't think he'll last very long out there. We'll find him, Mom. Don't worry. We'll bring him back safe. My mom said she last saw Will around here, so I guess this is the best place to start looking. Will! Will, come on, dude! Where are you? Will! Where are you, you big crybaby? Seriously? What? My help him come out! Wait, did you hear that? That sounded just like him! Will! There you are! <laughs> dude, everything's gonna be okay, alright? Don't worry, I'm here! You're the last person I expected to come looking for me! Will, we're still brothers, okay? And I still care about you, even if you don't care about me. Dylan, what are you talking about? Of course I care about you! Oh, what was that? It 
sounded like a bear. A bear? Oh, no, I don't want to be eaten alive. Then you shouldn't have run away in the woods in the first place. Oh, come on. We got to get back to safety. You know bears can run, right? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm going to be the distraction. Steve, I want you to get Will out of here. Get him to safety. Come on, let's go. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, don't eat me. I'm over here. Oh, I think it's coming after me. Oh, I gotta lose him somehow. Oh my gosh, there's gotta be another way. Oh no, no! I think we're losing him. No, 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 this isn't happening. I don't think he's gonna make it. What? No, 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 this is impossible. There, there's gotta be something you can do. I'm only a doctor, ma'am. Your son fell off a cliff. He's got bruises, broken bones, internal bleeding. I don't think he's gonna make it. No, no, I... He can't. He's my son. I, I care so much for him. I was so harsh on him. I wish I was able to tell you before you got hurt. I'm so sorry for the way that I treated you, Dylan. I do love you. I love you so much. I'm so sorry. <gasps> Dylan! Mom? Mom, is that you? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. 